or not. Um, today we're going to talk about, and by the way, I want to start the show by saying uh, Happy Hanukkah to our uh, Jewish uh, friends out there in the audience, uh, because um, it's Hanukkah at sundown. At the Festival of Lights, and uh, in my household, my uh, children and I will be lighting the candles just a little bit late today, uh, as soon as the show is over. Um, anyway, what I wanted to uh, talk about first is the situation with Iran, and many of you know that I've been extremely concerned about Iran, and I feel like that I got used by this administration once again. First time when the uh, administration suggested to me that Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction and that it was necessary to invade Iraq. And then they went in there and they found out that there were no weapons of mass destruction, at least not when they went in. And uh, so the reason for entering Iraq turned out to be uh, in, incorrect. Now they have been saying that we have to uh, stop Iran from the development of its uh, nuclear weapons program. And yet we find out that Iran uh, does not uh, have a nuclear weapons program. They shut it down four years ago, according to the intelligence. And I've got to believe that the White House knew what the intelligence suggested. So why, as bad as Iran is, and we know that it's bad, we know that it exports terrorism, but of course so does the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which we need to do business with, parenthetically. We know that Iran is a bad apple. We know that uh, they're controlling Hezbollah. We know that uh, they are uh, funding uh, Hamas. We know that they are encouraging and funding Syria's incursions into the internal workings of, uh, of uh, Lebanon. Uh, but we also now seem to know that they did not have, uh, at least for the past four years, a nuclear weapons program and yet we've talked here on this program and I have stated my belief on this program that Iran while we have should have no uh, problem with the people of Iran but the government of Iran while they continue to uh, make these uh, weapons or try to make weapons uh, nuclear weapons we've got to stop them because they are an obvious threat at least to the region and perhaps beyond now have we been lied to once again by the government of the United States of America, Cassandra in the United Kingdom. I noticed in your response to my blog posting about this that you disagree with me. I would just love to hear what you have to say. Well, I questioned your blog posting. I, I questioned your, your stance on this, your the premise for it. Uh, yes, because I feel that, you know, we've been given enough indications from Iran by Ahmadinejad that he is in the process of, of, uh, of developing his nuclear capability. And whether that is for, for peaceful means or for, for um, any other means is, is um, you know, who, who knows. But he is developing his nuclear capability. He's being aided in this by Russia. And, and I believe that the negotiations that have taken place between uh, himself, uh, with, between Ahmadinejad and Russia, are such that they've said, "Well, we will." You know, Russia have said, "We will, um, we will give you this. Um, you know, we will help you with this program, in in return for certain considerations." He's also been um, been uh, in 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 close contact with Kim Il Yong. Uh, of North Korea and it's 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 all about all the alliances that he's making I don't think you can take anything that uh, Iran says at face value and I don't think uh, you can take everything anything uh, about their motives at face value I think they're very tricky I think they're very capable of uh, disguising what they're doing and also <coughs> excuse me of uh, of being duplicit that's my opinion, Gary. So you did. So when you say that you believe that they are developing nuclear, you say that they're developing developing nuclear. You don't say that they're developing nuclear weapons. Uh, so could you be more specific about your point? 
Well, my point was that if you're developing nuclear capability and, and they're saying that this is for, you know, for um, energy. Peaceful means, means yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's quite it's quite possible that they have the the capability to go uh, to go that step further. Once you've developed so far, then I would presume, and I I don't know very much about nuclear physics. I, I have to admit, uh, but that you can you can then go further. There is also uh, a, the uh, example between um, you know with, with their um, their. <laughs> I was going to say allies, they're not necessarily allies, but with Pakistan having that nuclear capability, with India having that cap nuclear capability. So, you know, why are they going to be left behind in what is obviously a race? Uh, and, and also, with Israel purporting, purported to have nuclear capability. So, you're going to suggest to me that the intel is inaccurate? when they say that uh, they are not developing nuclear weapons, that they are only developing nuclear energy for peaceful purposes? Well, I'm not going to say that the, you know, I mean, I, I don't know about the, you know, I don't know what the intel says, but I would say that it would be foolish to trust somebody who is obviously uh, not uh, to be trusted. Um, it would be silly to take things at face value. Um, and and also that I, I do feel that uh, Iran are capable of of very devious means. Uh, you know, Ahmadinejad is by no means a fool. It's cap it's possible to send out false information, and it's possible to to um, make people assume that you're saying one thing and it's something um, totally different. So I would say that. You know, whilst one would hope that they were not uh, developing nuclear capability in terms of weapons, that one should err on the side of caution and say, yeah, okay, prove it. Well, the whole point is that the intelligence indicates, Cassandra, that there is no uh, w uh, nuclear weapons program in place in Iran. Iran is a bad enough apple as it is. Why do we have to exaggerate what they have? For what political means are we doing this? As an excuse to go to war against another country in the Middle East? We can't afford to go to war against another country in the Middle East. Afghanistan to fight the Al-Qaeda, that is a worthy and noble cause. The whole world supported that. Then we went into Iraq under false pretenses, and now it appears, at least uh, on the face of it, that the White House was attempting to go into Iran under false pretenses. And I'm disgusted by all this, frankly. Our next caller is Boaz. Boaz is joining us from California. Welcome to the show. Well, Gary, uh, uh, rest assured, we're not going to go into Iran. <clears throat> excuse me, under a uh, fall uh, pretext. Uh, l l let me uh, give you my view of what's going on, Gary. Uh, you know, Gary, I think you're aware, and a lot of people have seen this uh, in one or other uh, nature documentary. Uh, the penguins, when they go hunting, uh, they jump into the sea. They all gather a whole bunch of them at the edge of the cliff. And they keep pushing each other until one or two finally fall in. And if they're not eaten up by some sea lion, then they all jump in. Now, you know where I'm going with this, Gary, of course. You see, what's happening is uh, everybody's waiting for that one penguin to fall in and take, well, basically take the dive. And guess who that's going to be, Gary? It's not going to be the United States. It's not going to be Russia. It's 